Hey everyone, Mr. Shell here with another tutorial for you. In this tutorial, we'll be using Sony Vegas Pro 8, the only program to render videos except for the other few programs out there. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to render videos in full HD quality like this video you're watching right now. So, let's begin. First of all, we need to set up our project. So, let's go to File and Properties. This is setting up the project screen. So, you are playing with. Uh, so with, you're playing basically with a project that is 1280 by 720 and that's how it will look when it's rendered so let's go down to project properties and go and file properties like I just did and go to video and template just select the HDV 720-25p preset that's 1280 by 720-25fps in brackets and it's right there, just above HDV 720.24 and below 7, uh, HDV 720.30. Just press the 25 one, or you can just change the width to 12.80 and height to 7.20, and that should do it. And the frames per s uh, frame rate or frames per second at 25 PAL. And of course, the full resolution rendering quality to best. Keep everything the same and you should be fine and then press apply and ok something should happen there if you haven't already set it up but I have so now we can import our footage go to file import and of course get the footage let's get my newest video out and there it is it's basically a a video that is in HD quality recorded using Camtasia Studio. If you use a HD camera that records in 1280 by 720 you should be fine. If it's a better camera you should be fine. If it's a camera like a TV camera that records in 640 by 480 don't do the following step uh, when I say you can actually drag it in here and avoid the little banners so if you can see it better put it right there you can see little banners right there in DV footage you will see a bigger banners than this so it'll be like sort of in the middle and the banners will be quite big but don't stretch it because it just won't look as good it'll just be really laggy really pixelated and really crappy looking but in HD footage you can actually stretch it just a tiny bit and you can do this by going to video event pan and crop by right clicking on the footage in the timeline go there and you should get something that looks like this right here go to the source tab and go to maintain aspect ratio it should be at yes and just change it to no simple as that and now the video stretched a little bit and to the full screen and now it will still be HD because it's just a tiny bit of a stretch and it's HD footage anyway so you can spare some pixels to be stretched out. DB footage is not in HD and it's very small and it can't spare the pixels so just don't do it because it will lag like uh, really badly just it will lag, lag really badly take that from me. Anyway now that we've stretched our video and now we can do some editing now and there and after we've done our editing we can render our video and as I just did I just changed the little tab right there and that is to sh uh, to actually select the video you want to render because I recently had problems with like things like when I cut my video up and like paste it together sort of thing I keep like spare footage right there that I want to use or I don't want to use right around there like at the end if I want to use I just get it drag it over and place it in and if you do that the program will actually render every piece of video in line so you could have an hour's worth of crap footage and only three minutes that you want to use so basically just get the little yellow tab at the top and select your video right there and it, just, it should just click in right there and you should be fine or if your video is full just click it and it will select it all double click it, that is and now that's done after you finish your rendering and you stretch your video you can go and render it this is done by going to file render as some people go to publish that's a mistake don't do that go to 
render as. Press that and there we can name our footage, so I'll call it YT 2M 2M P3. Put a gap there. And a gap to T. Just a little habit of my perfection. And go to save as type Windows Media Video V9 v, uh, brackets dot VW, I mean MV. Just select that, it's right at the bottom, not the WMA, the WMV. Then you can go to template, and if you haven't already settled yourself the template, go to custom and change it around. Go to video rendering quality at the first tab and project as best, like there. Then audio, I use CBR and a format W, I mean uh, Windows Media Audio Professional 9, uh, not Professional 10, 9.2. And I place it at 192kbps one, one, at 48 kilohertz stereo A slash VCBR, right there. Just click that and that should analyze your video and with quite good audio then to video this is probably the most important part go to mode as CBR2 pass Windows Media 9 and high definition 1280 by 720 25 uh, and 25 frames per second or frame rate right there in PAL and of course 100% sharpness in the video right there and everything else can stay the same bitrate should be at LAN right there just unclick that just doesn't matter what number it is just put it at internet LAN and index summary nothing so okay, just press OK also if you want to actually save the preset just go here and call it YouTube HD temp and then you can save it, but I already got one, so I'm fine with that. Press OK right there. And now we can save our video and it should render in high quality. And now, after about two hours of rendering, this is very specific rendering, so it'll take a while, you will get crisp video like you're watching here with pretty good quality audio. Actually, depending on the sort of microphone you use and audio you use, but the video itself should be pretty good looking and if I don't seem so myself, quite a benefit to YouTube. So, thanks again for watching. This has been Mr. Shell. And check out some of the other videos on rendering, like the Adobe Premiere Pro rendering video. One last thing I forgot to mention in the main video Sony Vegas has problems with MP4 format. So, if you have a video that's in MP4, either converter using the converter I put in the video description or simply if you are using a screen recorder or a camera don't record in mp4 format although I don't know a camera that actually records in mp4 so keep that in mind when you're placing in the video so I, once again thanks for watching this has been Mr. Shell and of course check out my other videos and rate subscribe and all that stuff